guys, welcome back to my channel. I am coming at you with another Plaster in Paradise project. This one's gonna be a little different, but a little same like the one that you've liked before. We're gonna start out by pouring the Plaster of Paradise into our mixing bowl. And I, as you know, I do everything just by um, judgment. So I add a little bit of Plaster of Paradise and then I add a little bit of water I just add enough water to get it mixed together and then we'll go back later and add some additional water to it. I'll bring you in a little bit closer so you can see what we're doing. I don't want to mix up too much because I don't want to throw it away and I don't want to add too much water into it because we don't want it to um, be too watery too soon. So I keep adding water a little bit at a time until I get the proper uh, consistency that I want. And I'm sorry, my bracelet keeps making the uh, screen go in and out of focus. But once I get the proper consistency, I um, check to see that eh, this is very pasty. It doesn't want to fall off. So I'm going to add just a little bit more water to it because what I would like to have is just a little thicker than um, pancake batter, I guess, if you use pancake batter or cake mix. And so this round right here, we can see it's much better. I like this consistency. It's falling off, but it has a little bit of thickness to it as well. So we'll be able to use this to coat our flowers. So I picked these flowers up from Hobby Lobby. They were $5.99 on 50% off. So that meant I only spent three bucks for each one of them. I don't know why I said that, but I did. Okay, so $3 for each flower. And look at how pretty this rose is. I just love, 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 love roses. But we're gonna use the rose and a different kind of hibiscus flower, I believe is the other one, um, to make this project work. And just like before, I dipped, the, uh, dipped a rose inside of the mixture and then I came in and made sure that every leaf had some um, of the plaster on it by just rubbing it with my gloves and hey if you decide to do this you are going to want to use gloves but you don't have to do it the same way that I've done it I tried mixing it around into the plaster at first and then I decided to just start dipping my hand in and manually rubbing it with um, my gloved hand now, as you can see here, I um, did all three of the flowers, but I did not do the stems. I only wanted the rosebud or the head of the flower to have the plaster on it to hold it. And be careful um, once you allow this to dry for 24 hours because the plaster will crack and break, especially since we did thin coats. You could always make it thicker, but I just did thin coats on it. And then I used my hot glue to glue it down. Now, this again is all preference. You can put this on a canvas or not on a canvas. You can decorate it any way you want. But I decided that I wanted to have it on a canvas. In hindsight, I think that I wish I had stepped at these two, but I kept going and I put all three of the flowers on it. Um, and I did not want the leaf buds, like I said before, to have the um, hardness because of the design that I have in my mind. So um, after I put the other leaps and the final project on, I'm going to take this entire thing outside and spray paint it so that we can be ready for the next step of our project. And this is the way that it looks so far. Um, again, I think I might glue this down because I don't need that floating. But I took it outside and spray painted it and then came back with some of this um, metallic paint. One is called zinc and one is called uh, gray copper. I believe it's what it is. But we're going to paint the entire rosebuds or flower heads so that they would have a metallic look to them. I want this to look a little bit like, mm, like um, metal. Um, that's what I want my flowers to look like. Yes, I know it sounds weird, but it's going to look pretty cool at the end, in my opinion. But I want it to look like a little bit of like patina, like metal. Um, so I painted the entire flowers with this um, light and dark metallic mixture until I had the, achieved the look that I wanted. And this will kind of look like an old, I can't think of what it is, but I don't know, one of those old farm tens or farm bucket. That's the look that I was going for um, with this, uh, this design here. And I think I'm achieving it, um, but we'll keep working and I'll show you how it goes as we um, continue on the project. 
If you haven't joined our family, I'd love to have you join us. If you're here this long, you might as well subscribe. It would be great if you would subscribe and share the video. I'd love to get to uh, 50,000 views um, by the end of this year. We're working really hard and we come to you live every Sunday where you get to craft and create projects together. All right, so I decided now that I wanted to add a little bit of uh, dimension to the canvas itself. And so I'm just coming in with that light gray and I'm doing some, or with the medium zinc color, and I'm doing some soft strokes in a whisk motion to add a little bit of dimension to the back. And then I'll come in with some um, black to tone it down just a little bit and a little bit of glitter to add some additional dimension to it. Um, and here I am coming in with the black so that it is not so stark and not so bright against each other. And this is how the project turned out. I have my metal look that I was looking for and I think it's really cool. It's really different, it's really dark, but I think it's really cool and it's going to look great in my black and white office. I hope you like it, give me a thumbs up and we'll see you in our next video. Stay classy.